Hey everyone and welcome to a new video and this is our 100 video of this channel so thank you all of you who have subscribed and if you haven't subscribed our channel hit the subscribe button and please like this video okay so in this video I will show you how you can make a spelling bee game okay so as you can see on your screen you can see a spelling bee logo okay which I have taken from Google and down here you can see a button which is generate a new word so here the sound it will make when i will click on this okay so here it elegy so as you can hear it will speak the particular a random word okay it will speak a random word which i have given it and it will speak it so you can hear and type that word okay and let's uh, click on it again indefatigable so as you can see here whenever you will click on this it will generate a new random word okay so let's hear it Corporeal. again and if you want to hear that particular word again okay if you want to hear that particular word again you can click on the speak button corporeal corporeal so as you can see it will just uh, speak that word only okay and if you are now confident uh, you can spell the word you can spell it uh, like here okay so you can spell the word here and after spelling it you can submit by click on on this submit button okay so let generate a new word again abstemious all right so i think uh, it is spelling uh, it is uh, speaking abstemious i don't know the spelling but i will try abstemious i guess this is the spelling uh, let's hit the submit button and see what will happen okay so as you can see here it uh, says incorrect and it also shows the correct spelling so it it was a b s t e m i o u s so as you can uh, see this is the whole game and uh, if you get the word correct it will show you correct okay so so let's see uh, how you can make this game okay all right guys so let's see how you can make this game i will first generate the boiler template okay boiler plate for the html and let's write some html first okay so i will write a div tag which will be the container and i will give it a class all okay because inside this only we have all the like components okay and i will give it an image okay for our like logo okay and inside this you can see we have a b.png or uh, let me just show you here okay um let it reload so as you can see here this is our like logo okay which i have taken from google all right so after uh, uh after the image i will write an input tag okay for and the type will be text and then let me give in an id of inp okay so this is our the input text on which in which i will write the word okay and then I will create a button here and the ID of this button will be let's say btn and this will be the button to generate a new word so I will write here generate a new word okay and then I will write another div okay another div uh, tag and I will name this tag uh, cont okay so I will give it a class of cont and inside this div i will uh, give it two buttons here so the first one will be the speak button which i have shown you earlier and the second one will be submit so this uh, the idea of this will be let's say speak okay because it is for speak okay and also let me just give it a class also let's say btn2 and i will copy this down here and this will be button for our submit okay and in the id i will give it sub all right so let's see our website now okay so as you can see here uh it is nothing here um let me show you uh, let me see what is the problem uh let's run the portal again okay let's go live again and yes as you can see here now it is working and as you can see the all the elements are in random positions so let's do the css part okay and then after the css part we will go to the main uh, javascript part so i will write style here and i will write star for all elements margin zero 
and padding 0 so like this margin 0 and padding 0 is like necessary to include in your all website okay so let me just format document here all right and uh, after this let me just style the body here so i will write here width um 100 percent um be like you like you can skip this part okay you can like skip this width 100 percent and but uh, oops okay but right height is equal to 100 vh all right then here i will select the all class here and i will give a display of grid and i will write place items center so now let's see what our website is looking like so as you can see here all the elements are now in center and look how beautiful our website is looking already so now let's style some more okay and i will give it a margin from top of uh, let's say 100 pixel okay that will be fine and then i will target the image tag and i will decrease the width because it is like very large now so i will uh, give it a 300 pixel so let's see so as you can see here uh, now it is like looking good okay and then after it i will target the imp id okay which is our like the input text okay in which i will write the word and i will give it a margin from top okay margin from top let's say 30 pixel here okay and i will also give it a width of let's say 485 pixels so i have given it to match the like below elements so you will see that see it later okay and i will also give it a padding okay just to increase the like beauty okay and uh, then uh, i will target the btn element okay which is our this button here okay uh, generate a new word button and for the btn <clears throat> i will uh, give the width of 500 pixel all right and i will give it a padding of 5 pixel and i will write cursor pointer here and i will write margin and i will give it 20 pixel 0 20 pixel 0 okay so this is like uh, the example you have given 20 pixel from top and then 20 pixel from bottom okay so you can write uh, like this also and i will give it a like background color let's say aqua let's see how it is looking so as you can see it is like looking great okay and now uh, let's style our the remaining two buttons which is speak and uh, uh, submit okay so i will target the btn2 and uh, let me just uh, copy this here and paste it here so instead of this 500 i will write here 150 and padding will be uh, 5 only the cursor will be pointed and margin uh, let's delete this and i will write 100 pixel 0 100 pixel all right and uh, let's say color will be um, something like golden here okay which i have shown you earlier something like this and let's see now so as you can see here it is looking great okay so now the css part is also complete okay and now let's jump into the main part which is <coughs> the javascript part okay so i will write here script all right and i will define a uh, like variable called word okay i will show you what it mean later on okay so after this word here i will create an array okay and array will be the uh, the variable will be words okay so don't be confused between word and words okay so this words is an array okay and in th inside this array i will include like uh, 200 and or 300 like uh, difficult english words okay so it is a level of like spelling bee so that is how you will get the random word from this array so let me just quickly copy that i have paste like uh, 300 words here as you can see it is a long array okay so this is how uh, we will get a random word okay and these are all like advanced level english words okay so these are not like easy words okay 
and uh, after like writing this array of your words let's continue okay so i will write document dot get element by oops not this and get element by id and i will target btn so uh, this is uh, like for the generator new word okay so we are working for generator new word here okay that's why i have targeted the btn id all right so i will write add event event listener and i will write click okay so whenever someone will click on that a function will be run and what is that function okay a, a variable called num will be the random word so see what i will do here i will write math dot floor okay so this is to generate a random word okay so pay attention here and i will write math dot random and i will multiply it to so there are 248 words in the array okay uh, because i know it and that's why i will write here 247 plus 1 okay and uh, yeah that's it all right so that's uh that will give you a random word between 0 and 248 here all right so you can like even uh, write uh, just 248 so this will give you a random word between 0 and 248 all right so now like this variable here which i have already declared here okay um and i will write this equal to words and num okay so it will like grab the word okay grab the random word here and now is the main part to generate the text to speech method okay so how you will do that so let me create a variable called voice so let voice is equal to new and pay attention here i will write speech synthesis utterance here okay so you will get this in your uh, uh, like snippets so speech synthesis utterance and like add a bracket here okay so then you will write voice dot text okay so what you want to like uh, gen uh like convert to text to speech so you will write it here so voice dot text will be equal to word okay and then after that to like speak it okay to uh able to speak it you have to write speech synthesis okay this word and you will write speak and then inside this bracket you will write that variable which is voice and that's it okay so that's it and uh, let's save it okay so let's see if it is working or not so if i'll just click on this generate a new word Inert. okay so as you can hear whenever i will click it uh, click it here Iconic. it will generate a new word Iconic and class. speak to you okay so we have like done one of the like major part here now let's continue with our, our website here so now uh i will like write some code for the submit button here okay so i will write document dot get element by id and i will write here sub because we are targeting the submit button and i will write add event listener click function okay and inside this function i will create an if statement okay so i will write if document dot get element by id and i will write here imp oops in brackets you have to write here okay so imp and i will write here value okay so it will grab the value from this input here okay from this input here okay that's what it will do okay and then if it is equal to word okay which i have already defined it here okay so if it is equal to that random word what we will do we will create an alert okay and this alert will show you are correct so i will write here in caps that you are correct all right 
and I will write in else. Okay, so what else means that you lose. So I will write here alert and I will write here incorrect and then I will write a slash n and it will like continue from the second line and uh, I will write it was so it will show the correct word okay and I will write here it was word okay and make sure to write this in this okay and yeah that's it and after like clicking this okay uh, I want the text input to be empty so I will write uh, oops get element by id imp dot value is equal to this so after you have clicked the submit button okay so whenever you will click the submit button this text input will be empty okay will get empty again okay so our submit button is also ready now the only thing is left is this peak button okay so let's do this also uh, for that uh, let me just copy this down here because we need that uh, like speech synthesis and uh, like whatever okay so we'll write uh, id speak because we have given that id c okay so we have given the id speak here and in this speak id uh, I will just remove this okay we don't need this because we have already declared the word here and I will write the same thing okay let voice is equal to this and so yeah I think that's all okay so let's save it and uh, see in our website if it is working or not so I will create a random word here iconoclast so as you can hear it again and if I'll just uh, click on the speak Iconoclast. Okay. So you can hear it again and again. So let me just spell it. Uh, if I'm not the one, it was iconoclast. Um, I think it was. It is like incorrect. So let hit the submit button. And as you can see here, it was incorrect. So it was this. Okay, iconoclast. Whatever it is. So as you can see here, our website is working great. Okay. And one more thing uh, I want to tell you, uh, like we have uh, given this array of uh, words here, random words. You can like create like much bigger array and play like with your friends or whatever. So I hope you enjoy this video and learn something new here. I have like tried to make a new game in a website. So I hope you have liked this video and if you do subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And that's all in this video guys. I will see you in the next one.